Hey guys, Sky Fury DX, and welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. Today's going to be a showcase, it's going to be a rainbow video for Tech Khalifla here. So she is absolutely awesome since her awakening. Okay, on her super attack, she raises her attack and defense and causes supreme damage to the enemy and lowers their defense. Okay, so I have given her as much additional as what I can. I've also been pretty lucky so far in the Universe 6 equipment event, managed to pick up this level 3 additional. So I've also put that on her, I've given her an extra level 4 uh, tech attack, so she's going to be looking pretty good. Okay guys, just before I start the showcase, I'm just going to ask you please, if you haven't yet uh, subscribed to me, please subscribe. I'm trying really hard to hit 50 subscribers before the 350 million download celebration. Once I hit 50 subs, I'm going to be doing a giveaway where I'm going to be giving away a $50 Play Store voucher or a $50 iOS Store voucher. So hopefully somebody can summon on the 350 million download celebration so like a couple of times, a couple of multis and can get themselves something good. The last time I did one of these, I did it at 10 subs just because I was happy about hitting uh, double digits. And uh, somebody actually summoned on the Vegito banner and they got a Goku Black Rift and... Um, yeah, they got themselves a Vegito. Okay, so guys, like, again, if you haven't yet, subscribe, like the video, and here we go. This is actually a pretty good uh, time to come into the video. I have set this up just intentionally because of the amount that Super Saiyan 3 Goku is attacking here. Um, Khalifla on this rotation, she's got a 0% chance of getting hit. She cannot get hit at all. So this super here, not even worried. I, every time that Super Saiyan 3 Goku attacks her, she's just going to look at him and smile. So she starts out doing a 1 million attack stat, and she's got a guaranteed additional uh, that has got a medium percent chance of uh, turning into a super attack. So that was the additional that we saw there. Didn't eventuate into the super attack. So the way that that works is that when she's got a Kale, so I've obviously paired her together with the new Kale that has just uh, been Dokkan Awakened as well, then she gets a medium percent chance of her guaranteed additional becoming a super attack. I don't actually have a uh, Kefla on my own. I only did discount summons on the banner. I wouldn't uh, encourage anybody to summon for Kefla, even though she's really, really good. I would, um, yeah, I'd say just uh, sort of it, what you should be doing now. You should you should really be saving as much stones as what you can for the 350 million download celebration because it is going to go off. Right? Those whatever units are coming for the 350 million download celebration, pretty sure. Like I'm, I'd say that I'm like 90% confident, you know, that these units are going to blow the blue fusions out of the water. Like if, uh, what is it, Tech Gohan from the Japanese version, if that's anything to, um, if that's anything to base this of, he's only a TUR, and he's like, you know, you could probably make the case that he is the best unit in the game. People don't want to hear it, but uh, like the guy just starts off with, oh, but then there's Jiren. Okay, yeah, no, nah, Jiren's Jiren's better than Gohan, but you know, apart from Jiren, uh, yeah, he's just he's he's outstanding. Okay, so here we here we are again. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play this like like that. So Tech Khalifla, she's again, she's not going to be hit because uh, she is facing a, a pure San or Universal Survival Saga category enemy. So she's a-okay. -okay. Like this is a great time for God Goku to launch a super attack because there's no chance that he's going to be able to connect. Uh, and you got to keep in mind as well that every time she gets super attack, she is stacking her attack and defense. So. Like we're up to um, we're up to God Goku in the legendary Goku event, and she's already hitting for 1.1 million. Like even that that Kale, super impressive as well. Like she's that was 
just a 1.9 million attack stat and she's still got a, another attack coming. Okay, so that is her attack that when she's on rotation with a Khalifla has a medium percent chance of uh, turning into a super attack as well. This uh, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, not yet awakened on the global version, but you know when she when she awakens on the Japanese version of the game, she just becomes like over dominant. She just gets crazy, crazy good. They're just gonna get these. I might just fast forward this uh, rotation because there's gonna be just a whole lot of LR Kale and Khalifla. And I want to get back to uh, I want to get back to Khalifla. Okay, I guess we can I guess we can go again. But yeah, you see what I mean there. You know. Uh, Kale and Khalifla are type disadvantage to Goku, so I mean they can wail on Goku as much as they want, but they are, um, yeah, like that was just a long, arduous turn. Uh, so we'll grab we'll grab these with uh, Kale, and oh, what are we? Are we at a Dokkan attack? Yes, we are. So don't have to worry about taking damage as per usual. Yeah, good luck, Goku. So that's the thing about this team. If you if you run this team under certain circumstances in well, in the in the right um, like under the right circumstances, you know. So if you're versing uh, pure San or you're versing uh, Universal Survival Saga enemies, like if you're running this team, chances are you're just not going to be taking damage. You're not going to be getting hit, okay? Because you've got the two. Like, well, you can actually have um, the LR Kale and Khalifla, the TUR Kale and Khalifla, and the SSR Kale and Khalifla. You know, you can definitely run them all. So, the more that they are allowed to build up, just the more um, the more chance that they have to dodge, the more damage reduction that they're getting. Uh, so, this is going to be another one to fast forward because, uh, like. As you can see, when I when I do speed it up, just take notice of how much I'm getting hit versus how much I'm not getting hit, and and how much that these girls are just constantly attacking. You know, just how many attacks that they do. You know, I can't remember the last time that I've seen Khalifla do a counter-attack like that. Alright, so what am I going to do here? It's really important that I keep uh, Kale and Khalifla both together. So, this isn't really ideal, but I'm going to just uh, put uh, Kale first there like that. She could get hit like pretty damn hard by uh, Goku here. Hopefully she's had enough time to build her attack and defense. I really should have checked her defense, but you know, she's got the potential of doing another super attack after this as well. So Okay, not a not a super attack, so it's not built as much as what we Okay. All right. Well, we're safe anyway. Uh Blue Goku is probably going to be supering uh, Khalifla here. Khalifla is now up to like a 1.27 million attack stat and she cannot be hit. Yep, so that's that's fantastic. The longer she stays in the game, the better she's going to be. Um, I'm, after I'm fit, I'm probably going to take her all the way up to UI Goku if we can get that far. Um, Hopefully Hit doesn't get tagged because Hit is, you know, Hit I'd say would definitely be the weak link for the team. 
and uh, and then after I've finished with UI Goku, I'm going to take her into a stage that is not optimal for her. Just uh, you know, because she is uh, she's she's got a hundred percent chance to dodge in here, so it's not really you know, it's very specific that this is the only event in the whole game where you can uh, be assured to get through the entire event without um, with without taking a hit. Okay, so LRK and Khalifla should um, should get rid of uh, the blue Goku for us right now, and then we can head on to STR um, UI Goku. He's attacking a lot in the first slot. I'm gonna check these girls' uh, defense stat now. So what's she sitting at? She's sitting at 240k, right? So straight away there. That is uh, double digits from UI Goku, and Kale below is looking super, super impressive as well. Like, look at her attack as well, 730k and a defense stat of 380k. You really, like, both of these girls, I know this is a showcase just for Khalifla, but you can't help but run these two side by side. What's her attack stat going to be now? Yeah, good luck, Goku. 1.34, okay, definitely getting up there, too bad it didn't connect, but, you know, it's <laughs> just absolutely clowning UI Goku right there, showing him how to dodge. Kale sitting there now at 2.2 million, still with chance for another super, yep, 2.27 million, so she's going to be... I wonder, I wonder if Kale is going to be at 3 million by the time we actually get up to Int UI Goku. Wouldn't surprise me if she was though. So after uh, after Kefla's EZA, she actually gets um, she gets a, a lot more powerful than what she is now. Um, Yeah, so Kefla at the moment, just AGL Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. Uh, she, her, her super attack causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises defense by 30% for three turns. But when she gets her EZA, that goes up to 60% um, for three turns. Uh, plus, like her her passive skill just gets crazy, crazy good as well. Um, Whereas now it is attack plus 90% and a high chance to evade enemy attacks. So that's high chance is 50%, um, including super, super attack. And then a medium percent chance to evade super enemy super attack and counter with tremendous power. Uh, now, after her um, EZA, that turns into attack 120% and defense plus 60%. High, ch high chance of evading the enemy's attack, including super attack, or medium percent chance of evading the enemy's super attack and countering with tremendous power. So she doesn't lose that counter, which is really, really helpful. And then attacks are effective against all types when there is a category ally whose name includes Kale attacking in the same turn. So that could be LR Kale and Khalifla as well. You know, so she basically just inherits Gogeta's ability uh, when she EZAs, so uh, after she EZAs, this team's going to be so much more powerful. Plus, I'm not even running, um, I'm not even running this Kale, this uh, STR Kale, or this Tech Khalifla at their uh, full potential at the moment, anyway, because um, because I've got hit around. I, I didn't pull myself an, another um, another Khalifla in the in the thing right so if you uh, pulling yourself another Khalifla number one she's more defensive than what hit is she does more damage than what hit does but she also gives um, the girls she gives uh, well she gives Khalifla an extra 16% chance to dodge so that means that she at, like at the moment on this team if I'm not going up against a pure sand um, category ally, uh, enemy, or a Universal Survival Saga category enemy, she's got an 80% chance to dodge. 
Um, if I've got if I've got Kefla, like if I exchange Kefla, um, if I exchange Hit with Kefla, then all of a sudden the team like Kalifla has got a 96% chance to dodge because it doesn't just um, like it doesn't just uh, go 8% one or the other. So you know 8% for Universe Six or 8% for Peppy Girls. Like it's both of them. So um, she is uh, she's actually getting 8% from uh, Universe 6 and Papi Girls. So that actually just makes me think a little bit there. And um, yeah, so the team that I've got now doesn't actually have 80% um, chance for Khalifa to dodge. It's more... Oh, look at... That's... Okay, I couldn't really ask for um, anything better this rotation. Um, it's actually, she's got an 88% chance to dodge because Hit still is on the Universe 6 um, category. So this is pretty good here. We've got Kale and Khalifla in their first slot and they're not going to be taking any damage from UI Goku because of the amount that they've been able to build their defense and the amount that they've been able to build their dodge. The dodge didn't actually come through right there, but you know it doesn't really matter because defensively they're just not taking damage anymore. We've really just got to hope that uh, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla at the end there doesn't get um, tagged with a super attack because uh, she's only got a 50% chance to dodge and uh, yeah that'll um, that'll hurt. That'll, that'll definitely hurt. I have moved hit into the middle slot because um, UI Goku is not attacking that middle slot at all and Hit is uh, just a complete liability at this point. So it'd be interesting to see what happens after the super attack when we um, after we attack with Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. I'm uh, <laughs> yeah it, it could be all over I don't think UI Goku has even <laughs> alright Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, she got smoked. All right, I'm going to go into an event now that is not um, the legendary Goku event. Alright guys, and we're back, and uh, I've decided that we are going to run the exact same team that we were just running in the youth event. I'm not going to go like crazy deep into this like I, uh, like I did the UI Goku event. This is just to sort of take a look at Khalifla. Right, so unfortunately I didn't get her on uh, rotation with, um, with Kale, so I'm going to push Kale off and, um, and uh, get Kale. Uh, Tech Khalifla and that Kale together as quickly as I can. So we'll be seeing Kale in the next turn. Lucky this time she wasn't in the seventh slot, although if she was in the seventh slot she would be on. Oh, and we got the stun off on um, Goku and uh, and Bulma. So that's uh, that's awesome. So we're not going to take any damage this uh, this round. Um, so beautiful. So this. Uh, this event right here, a little bit different from the last event because uh, the enemies are not, uh, well some of them are pure sands, but most of them are not, um, and none of them are universal survival category <laughs> category enemies. Okay, so right now this is great, so we've got, um, are, are they stunned? Yeah, yeah, they're, okay, <laughs> alright, so we got... We got a, basically a, a free attack now with um, with Khalifla because they're not going to even do anything. But uh, we have got uh, a 88% chance to dodge with Khalifla now. So she still can be hit. Uh, it's not a 100% unless we're up against um, somebody from Pure Sands, which... Uh, I think we eventually go up against somebody, a uh, uh, pure sand in this. I, yeah, I mean, I, I think we do. I'm not gonna, actually I am gonna check. Hold on a sec, guys. Okay. 
Okay, the answer is no. No, we are not uh, facing anybody um, just from the pure sands. So we will never have a 100% chance to dodge, but uh, the chance to dodge is definitely, uh, definitely significant. Like 88%. You pretty much guarantee that as you're not getting hit. And she's stacking her attack and defense as well, so like maybe by the time that she does get hit, she's going to take that little damage that it's not even going to be worth worrying about. Okay, this is uh, really what I wanted to see right here because uh, Chi Chi. Okay, she is type effective against Khalifla. We all know how much damage Chi Chi does, right? I mean, who's been getting who's been getting effed up by Chi Chi lately? <laughs> I, uh, I know I have. <laughs> Alright, come on, Chi-Chi, what you got? <laughs> that's, that's what 88% chance to dodge looks like, people. Okay, like, yeah, she's, she's good. She's, she's really good. Since these guys, uh, these girls, Dokkan Awakenings, they are, uh, absolutely crazy, and they're just making this team, like, this team's, like, unbeatable. <laughs> After we've just seen uh, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa get smacked by um, what's his face uh, UI Goku. Okay, I really wish that Super Saiyan um, 2 Khalifa, uh, yeah, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa, when she got her EZA, her um, her chance to evade went up because uh, you know 50% still, you know, it it could be better. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna leave STR uh, Kefla in that first uh, first slot there. I'll break these these two girls up, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hope that uh, we get the dodges because uh, you know In Chi Chi can still um, In Chi Chi is still a pretty significant threat, right? Okay, we have not got the dodge, and LRK and Khalifa just took 71k. Alright, this, uh, this is why it's so significant that we can put Khalifa just... You know, Khalifa can absorb as much damage as... Come on. Oh, neither of those two dodged. Okay, this is, this is absolutely perfect right here. Under conventional circumstances, this turn would uh, present a bit of a problem, but we can now use this turn to get a bit of healing done and uh, build our Dokkan attack, knowing full well that our Khalifa is probably not going to take any damage. Busting out of 1 million attack stat. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. This, uh, this attack right now was the... Um, Hidden potential proc, so that's uh, that's that's awesome. That's that's why I gave her additional, and she, like not taking damage like that. That's that's so good. Okay, like I think we've definitely seen what we need to see from Khalifa. Uh, she is an outstanding unit. I'm really happy with her awakening, and I uh, I can't wait to use her in a future Dokkan battlefield. She's going to be fantastic against Jiren. I know that. Okay, guys, thanks very much for watching, and, uh, yeah, I will, uh, <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Peace.